And play inside the giant zone. Drew Sim behind his net will leave for Canik Liebert and a pass behind the net to Tanner Brown. Up the left wing side, Adam Hall's pass tipped off a royal stick and in behind the Victoria net. One of the Spazaka twins will try and clear the puck forward. That is Ryan Spazaka. He'll move it up the left wing and now it's Pfizer trying to toe drag his way to the outside on Stacha. Pass across from Pfizer to the point for LaRock. That's going to switch directions and go wide. Behind the net, it's Braden Sherman along the left wing side. Sherman checked, and now Statue will bring it forward for the Giants. He's going to chip it off the near boards, and in behind the net, Hall is going to win a race. Loose puck along the left wing side. Justin Lees to try and get there. Gannon LaRock behind his net. He'll locker him, so it may be a staged fight. Maybe the officials... Um, Wanting to, uh, we'll, we'll wait for the official call. Left wing side, Pentecost for Lees. Back for Pentecost at the point and a shot through. Didn't quite get on target. Game misconduct for both guys. So <laughs> how's that for your one shift in the finale of this hockey game? Dallin Wilton kind of frustratedly. Well, that went from fun to disappointment yeah. for those two guys. Big time. And so now puck along the wall, left wing side, Adam Hall into the middle for Zach Ostopchuk, and here come the Giants. Ostopchuk wide on the right, trying to split past Spizaka. Ostopchuk got there, now to Lees. Nice move to get into the slot, and a shot right on, and a save made by Ivanov. Ostopchuk did well to find him, and Lees did well to make some space. Ostopchuk going to try again. He's going to shoot it into the near corner. He's going to backhand it around the boards to Tristan Nielsen. Nielsen to the point for Tanner Brown. Brown wrist shot wide. Foot race to a puck along the boards. Canik Liebert going to get there first and a reversal to sort of towards the net. It's going to go wide, but I think Ross, we've got a few minutes here, Bill, without a whistle as Spazaka at his own line for Victoria. We'll move it to the left, and now here's Cutler, and he can fly. Dancing down the left side, Cutler centered and tipped wide by Yoder. Crashing hard to the net. Panic Leaper the other way for Vancouver. A pass forward, picked off by Braden Tracy. And back come the Royals. Yoder wide on Lees. Yoder going to chip it to the corner. Canic Leaper and Tracy do battle behind the net, and Canic Leaper will come away with it. Good feed into the middle for Ostopchuk, and here come the Giants. Ostopchuk to the right wing for Hall. Hall, what a move through the defender, and he just lifted it high and over the goal. Back to the left wing point now. Tanner Brown to the right point. Canic Leaper. Wrist shot well wide. Brown at the left point. First to it to keep it in. Left wing corner for Justin Lees. Behind the goal for Ostopchuk. He'll battle for it with LaRock. Puck in feet along the far corner. And dug free by the Giants. Canic Leaper from the right point. A shot blocked. Trying to get it back. It's blocked by Tracy and now a one on one. Brown with Tracy. Tracy's gassed at the end of a shift and he's just going to flip one in on the. Giants net, Drew Sim makes the save. 6.30 into a scoreless first, the Giants and the... And shots on goal, and he's opened the scoring, Dan, four times in 21 games. This is amazing for the 17-year-old. Off the draw, Nielsen in front, redirected by Ostomchuk, and he's going to try and make it a fifth time opening the scoring in a hockey game as he's out on the ice right now for this white spot power play. Behind the net, Justin Sordiff will skate out for Vancouver. Sordiff to center, left wing side for Canik Leeper. And now he'll drop it. Nielsen wide on Scott, and he'll bring it wide. He's still got it. Nielsen tries to center it. Back door for Ostopchuk. Broken up by the Royals. That was Braden Sherman on the back check that took away a great scoring chance for Ostopchuk. Sordiff behind his own net will try and get the rush started here for Vancouver. Leading point scorer in the hub is Justin Sordiff, and he made a couple moves and tried to slice through. Then a pass for Ostomchuk at the right wing circle, now to Nielsen, who makes a move. Wide he goes, Nielsen to Sordiff. In the middle, a swing and a miss. And the puck is cleared down the ice by the Victoria Royals, who killed the first minute of this Giants power play. Now a pass forward for Florchuk, to the right for Nielsen. To Ostopchuk, right wing side, he'll leave for Florchuk in the corner. Florchuk tried to go to Ostopchuk, off a skate to the point, not out. Sort of a try, and that deflects out of play. 48 seconds to go in this Giants power play. Dan, that's, that's with this Victoria power play. Tracy behind the net being watched by Sort of. Now the Royals break out of their own zone, and now here's Cutler. Racing wide on the check is Cutler, but he's going to be... Knocked off the puck nicely by Tanner Brown. And now shorthanded, here's Sordiff with Ostopchuk. Sordiff, what a pass. Shorthanded, Ostopchuk scores! A shorthanded goal on a backhand and the fifth. Loose 
and dug free by the Giants, and now left wing Justin Lees. Bumped off the puck on the back check by the Royals, and now Taryn Pfizer. Crossing the line, onside apparently. Pfizer in the slot, fired it, and that didn't miss by much. Kept in by Tracy. Back to the point for Smith, now around the net for Cutler right wing. For Pfizer, for Cutler, a little give and go play, picked away by Zach Ostopchuk in a wonderful defensive play. And now here come the Giants off the rush, it's the captain, he'd love to score. Canik Leeper to drop pass for Ostopchuk, it missed, but it's held in by Tanner Brown. Right wing side, Canik Leeper behind the goal for Hall. Hall, his feed to Liesel on the left wing. Can Brown keep it in? No. Cleared by the Royals, knocked down by Ostopchuk. Onside, back come the Giants, Canik Leeper. Return feed for Ostopchuk. Right wing behind the net, angling his puck free. Canik Leeper from the point, pulling the trigger. It's blocked and cleared out to center ice by the Victoria Royals, Bolshikov. Drews. Hey, Bison, puck now. Again, a faceoff in the Victoria zone draw. So important in this kind of a game. And the Giants win that one cleanly. And at the left wing point, Tanner Brown goes behind the net for the game's first goal scorer, Zach Ostopchuk. Played to the boards, right wing side for Adam Hall. Hall behind the net, battling with Cutler. Puck freed by the Royals, and Ty Yoder now away. Yoder, right wing, going to chip it past Brown. Tracy and Canik Leeper going to collide behind the goal. Tracy's going to get there first. Tracy with the puck along the boards, right beside his left skate. Canik Leeper trying to press that puck free. It goes to Brown, and now to Lees along the left wing. And now Justin Lees to center. Trying to gain the line on sides, or no, offside. Uh, probably the right call by the official. Left wing side, Spizaka receives a pass. He's got three Giants defending him. All he does is just shoot the puck in and go for a change. Marco Stacha with Cutler bearing in on a Pass to the left, Camazola tried to get enough of it, couldn't clear it. And now a foot race for a puck. Cutler going to grab it, but then he overskates it. So the Giants catch a bit of a break, but more of an urgent forecheck from Pfizer, Tracy, and Cutler. And the Giants having trouble clearing the zone. Now they do. They get it out to center. Knocked down by the Victoria Royals and played forward. Stacha going to touch up. Hand in the air. And behind the play, we're going to have a very advantageous piece on defense for Vancouver. Face off now coming up to the right of Adam Ivanoff. And Justin Lees off the draw. Will spin to the slot and a low shot and a save made. Camazola going to walk forward. And he'll get checked off the puck. As Ivanov forced to make a challenging save early on. Justin Lees keeping it in along the left wing boards behind the goal for Ostopchuk. Ostopchuk going to protect the puck. Now he's checked. And back comes Terran Pfizer the other way with the Victoria goal scorer, Keanu Durant. Drew Sim knocks a puck down behind his net. Marco Stacha checked by Durant. Free to Durant along the left wing side. And a shot from a weird angle hit a body and went wide. Braden Sherman. Keeping it to the outside. Got it back to the point. Nice pass. Shipley going to walk in. And a shot blocked by Marco Stacha. And puck cleared now by the Giants. And now Lees has a head of steam. He's going to cut in and he'll fire. Save made even off. And the rebound protected. And cleared forward. Here come the Royals to center. Pfizer will play it forward. From Alex, Tristan, and Eric thanking me for all the safe road trips. What a classy move by the 320-year-olds. Doesn't surprise me. One split second that they would do that together and uh, you know what you want to talk about the many personalities Bill that we've missed in this experience yourself of course being one of them but uh, it, it hasn't been the same without uh, without Derek Holloway uh, the day one bus driver for the Vancouver Giants and if you're listening tonight D we're thinking of you and we uh, we miss you pal can't wait to uh, to have you on the road with us here again sooner than later as the Victoria Royals send the puck back into the Giants zone Hall into the middle, picked off by the Giants. They don't clear it. Pfizer kept it in, and a weak shot towards the Giants' goal, protected and blocked by Tanner Brown and cleared out to center. 2-1 Giants, early days here in the second period. And a play through the neutral zone, Braden Tracy. Backhanding it back into the Giants' territory. And Canik Leapert slowly forward, savoring every shift in this game, no doubt, for the two-year Giant captain. Buck shot in by the aforementioned Canik Liebert, knocked down by Evenoff and clear. We've got a penalty upcoming here. I think Cage Newins for that collision along the boards. So a delayed penalty upcoming. Giants are going to have a power play here soon. And the Royals did not get full possession of the puck. So that poor referee with his hand in the air and now a break the other way. Canik Liebert. 
trying to go back across for Nielsen, and he was poked off the puck by LaRock. The Giants, though, still with possession. Connor Horning back door, trying for the tip for Canick Leeper. And it was knocked away. Connor Horning from the left wing point. Holds on. Skates to the slot. Now for sort of left circle, a drive, and that went just wide. Horning going to keep it in. Pass to Florchuk along the left wing. Florchuk to the bumper, sort of makes a move. Cuts in to the right. Ostopchuk, Florchuk, sort of. Left wing side, cutting to the slot. Giants just playing keep away. Sort of spins to the point. Horning back to sort of in the slot. Fires and even off. Finally touches the puck and makes the save. Will go to commercial. Penling by the Vancouver Giants. They must have had 15 touches on that puck. The arm, that referee, he, it was, he had it, it was going stale. He was dropping it down. He couldn't keep it up any longer. And back on the Victoria Royals, though, on a shorthanded chance. And Pfizer's attempt to put the puck on net missed. Victoria without a shot on goal here for the first seven minutes of period two. Giants conversely have five. Second white spot power play of the game here for Vancouver. And they bring it wide. Tristan Nielsen, left wing side. He'll leave for Ostopchuk behind his back. And controlled along the left wing for Sordiff to Ostopchuk. Lost a handle of it, and it's cleared down the ice. Drew Sim out of his net to settle the puck down behind the Vancouver goal. 40 seconds gone in the penalty to Cage Newitz. Justin Sordiff makes a move to the outside. Slowly crossing the line, blue line. Right wing. Sends a pass to Canick Leapert in the corner. He's going to get picked off by Matt Smith, and the puck cleared down the ice by the veteran D-man of the Victoria Royals. That, that's media timeout might have been a really helpful timeout for the Victoria Royals as it allowed them to kind of get their bearings a little bit here. Florchuk flying up the middle, trying to slice through the D. Puck poked to the corner, pass back for Pentecost off a deflection. And now for Nielsen in the left wing corner. Tried to center it, it banked. And it banked off Deranuski and now it's clear. Pfizer racing down the right wing, one on two. Pressured nicely by Brendan Pentecost who defended him well. Puck goes to the corner. Pentecost now chips it behind his own net, plays it to the left wing. Adam Hall to the line, not out. Darinowski holds it in for Victoria. 9.40 to play second period, 2-1 Victoria trailing the Giants. Pfizer behind the net, on a backhand to the point, Shipley. Shipley back to Pfizer, redirected on net, and Drew Sim got the pad on it. We'll see if they decide that that's a shot on goal for Victoria. Now a 2-1-1, and now Pentecost in alone, a chance, and a stick save made by Adam Ivanoff. As Brendan Pentecost jumping up in the rush, denied of his first WHL goal. You don't often see the point blank shot from a defenseman, almost a, a dare I say, breakaway ish for Brendan Pentecost. And now a pass forward for Ostopchuk. Nice feed to the right wing for Caden Cole, knocked down by the Victoria Royals. They do not have a shot this period to the Victoria Royals, Bill, and it's been. In the slot area, and you know what? You probably had a feeling that something was going to happen. He might draw a penalty, and he did. You mentioned the word confidence earlier in the game with Caden Cole, and I think confidence is absolutely playing a part in, in this game for him tonight. Florchuk to the point for Sordiff, back for Florchuk, left wing. Now to Sordiff. He'll fire one through. Even off stopped it, I don't think he saw it. He didn't. Had no clue. Sordiff to the left wing. Florchuk circle. His shot blockered away. Even off off the backboards. Nielsen. Sordiff. He'll let it go through, even off the save. And cleared around the boards by the Royals and out. No, sort of kept it in. Left wing side, a pass for Canick Leeper busted up. The Royals now do clear along the near side. The Giants have 14 shots in the period and Adam Ivanoff has stopped them all. Sort of to the right wing point for Tristan Nielsen. Nielsen down low, he goes for Ostopchuk. He'll switch down low, Nielsen. Florchuk trying to sneak in, sort of, from the point. He'll walk the line. He'll go back to Nielsen. Nielsen down low for Ostopchuk. I think he expected Nielsen to shoot. Ostopchuk jumped in the air and then, got a, and then got a pass. Good call. That's exactly what happened. <laughs> and knocked down by a high stick, and that's going to stop play. And is the referee... It was a tap-in. That puck is in the, on the stick, and Nielsen, he knows sort of is in front. He literally hands him the puck. Says here, put it in his open net. It's 3-1 Vancouver. 3-1 Giants late in the second period. And gives sort of 11. He's got two points on the night. 33 points now for Justin Sordiff in 22 games. That's the most in the BC division. 
Caden Cole, wide down the right wing, centered pass, deflected wide by Hall. Rostopchuk, keeping it in along the left wing side and now into the slot area for Cole. He lost it, then got it back and was able to keep it in. Puck deflects off of Cole and goes in to the Vancouver Giants bench. In, delayed offside, Giants have to vacate the zone, they'll change with a minute 35 to play in period number two. Dorrington up for Derenuski. the pass missed. Cleared forward by Hall and knocked down by the Vancouver Giants at their own line. Ostopchuk to the left for Hall, lost it in his skates, then got it back, and he'll just dump it in along the left wing side. One minute, 10 seconds to go here in period two, and now a turnover at the side of the net for Cole. And Adam Ivanov had to scramble to get back as once again, Caden Cole finding himself the recipient of a pretty darn good scoring chance. Under a minute to play here in the second. 3-1 Giants. And the puck shot deep behind at the Giants goal. Marco Stacha trying to battle for a puck and he'll free it along the left wing. Stacha forward, up the right wing, Osopchuk. Posts up, little spin maneuver to get by his man, Tristan Nielsen. Tanner Brown, left circle, a shot, and Ivanov made the save off his arm and up and out of play. 20 shots on goal now. Royals with a minute gone in the sec or the third period. Now Justin Lees, he'll glide wide, he's got a bit of room. He's going to hold up, sends the puck behind the net. Zacho Stopchuk in after it. Back to the left wing point, Camazola to Stacha, nifty little move. Stacha, high shot through, comes free, rebound, Stacha trying to bank it in around. And he couldn't get to it on the backhand. Now to the point for Camazola, that shot hit traffic on its way to the net. And now Derenuski for Victoria, in the middle for Tracy. Tracy kept it onside, trying to get a pass forward. It's picked off defensively by the Vancouver Giants. Ostopchuk tripped up on the play by Derenuski, and the Giants are gonna have a power play here early in the third. Zach Ostopchuk's had a really nice game tonight for the Vancouver Giants, and that move through the middle, he got hauled down. And a corner continued to play with a backhand pass. That was a marvelous shift by the Slovakian. Face-off win for the Giants, and at the point, they hold the puck in for a moment. Tanner Scott then gets to it and will clear it out to center. As the white spot power play, number four on the night for the Giants. Eric Florchuk weaving to the outside, crossing the line into the offensive zone, sort of. To his right, Tristan Nielsen walks in, a high shot, he missed the net. Kept in though by Florchuk along the left wing wall. For a stop Chuck to the point, sort of. Right point, Nielsen, a one-timer scores, the captain. Alex Kanick Leapert in front. I wanted to see a lot of offense. I wanted to see Vancouver score a lot of goals. Now, that was a history of the, of you know, what's happened between these two teams this season and just carried on right now. Short-handed, though, it's an opportunity for Cutler, who can motor up the ice with the best of them. He got by, and he's hooked up. Drew Sim made the save. Cutler hooked up. It's going to be a holding penalty. He's a guy that played Bantam and Midget for Michael Dick. Really is just, you know, hasn't made that transition right now to the Western Hockey League, but he's looking pretty good in this game tonight. Shot from the point from Nico Camazola, gloved down by Adam Ivanov. Find the, and the technology and capability to get you up and out of here. Trim options, including the Stylish RS and the Adventure Ready Active. Your options are as open as the road ahead. Giants Hockey presented by your local Chevrolet dealer. Play along the near side boards. Battling for it behind the net is Adam Hall. Tugged at Justin Lees, trying to free it for Hall along the wall. And to the corner, puck poked free. And at the point, held in by Statch, a little spin move at the line, he blew a tire. Still manages to keep the puck in, and now along the boards. Ty Yoder for Victoria is going to escape with it, and he'll send a Hail Mary pass down the ice. Tanner Scott is going to make sure that icing is not called on that play. 9.15 to play here in the third period of a 5-1 lead for the Vancouver Giants. And now up ahead comes Hall, does well to keep that puck on his stick as he had two Victoria Royals draped over top of him trying to poke it away. And now the Royals, Braden... Better than he is, and I, <laughs> I got to be really, really surprised. 
Dan, of course. And he brings it every night, Dan. He's so consistent, to your point. He's, he has been consistent amongst many other superlatives that you could use for Justin Sordiff this season. He has put his game to another level as Sordiff. And with 34 points now on the season, and if you look at that comparatively, Bill, to the league scoring, Justin Sordiff with 34 points is now tied for third in league scoring with Cole Fonstad and Gage Gonzalez. Lees cuts in and a shot even off the save. So if Justin Sordiff could get one more point in this game, he would be alone in league scoring third place behind only Peyton Krebs and Ben McCartney. Dan, that's incredible. That's, that's a great get by you. And a collision coming up as Justin Lees injured his uh, injured a player penalty for the Victoria Royals as their head coach um, not happy with the non-call perhaps on Justin Lees. So now here should come the Royals shorthanded, Taryn Pfizer. No, so okay, that penalty was for instigating. So they're saying that the Royals instigated the fight and they've got a case, I think, maybe, but a little backdoor play for Canic Liebert, missed him. Kept in by Nielsen, down low, Canic Liebert, 2-0 stop chuck. Back to Sordiff, and remember, Bill, another point for Sordiff, and he's third in league scoring all by himself. Feeds to floor chuck, down low to Canic Liebert, puck centered, and stop chuck fired wide, and even off might have even got a piece. Puck cleared by the Royals, Justin Sordiff going to hang at the blue line along the right wing, and now he'll send a hard pass through bodies and in behind the goal. Canic Liebert plays to the left wing for floor chuck. Floor chuck to a stop chuck, broken up by the Royals and clear down the ice. That might be one of the poorest passes, and there haven't been many that were made. That pass was put right on a Victoria stick. My goodness, this team moves that puck well in the offensive zone. Collision along the boards. Giants trying to free it, and they do. Oh, stop chuck goes to his left for floor chuck. Now to the point. Horning to the right side for Nielsen, and that was blocked by Spazaka. They score on the rebound along the left wing. Bryce Banks, so give Tristan Nielsen now four points on the night. And a memorable farewell for Tristan Nielsen, who, by my math, Bill, is now just only two points shy of Justin Sorta for the team lead in scoring. So a couple of statistical things to keep in mind as Nielsen... Not sure if they've refreshed it yet, but I've got him now at 31 points and sort of at 34. But they might not have calculated that recent assist yet for Tristan Nielsen. Collision in front of the Vancouver net, shot in deep by the Giants. And cleared back. Played for 60 minutes sometimes. It, it is a little misused. Yep, I agree. I'm going to tell you, this Vancouver Giant team tonight has played 55 of 60 minutes. There is so little, so little to pick about the way this team has played tonight. What a wonderful, wonderful job they've done here. They still got a minute and 30 left to close it out. And a penalty kill for another minute of that. Back to gather it are the Royals. Shots in the game, 37 to 13, and now a turnover, short, uh, sort of short-handed, trying to bank it in as he just kind of ran out of real estate.